Hi, my name is Diana. This is my dog Honcho. We live full time in my self converted 2003 GMC Savannah five window school bus. This is the front of my bus. I kept everything up here pretty original. I didn't do too much modification. I did add a little cabinet over here just because there was a lot of store, extra storage space that I could utilize. So I store lots of my extra shoes and stuff for Honcho down there. My Jackery also sits up there. I use that to power my sound bar that I have. Since I did cut out all the original speakers, I added that just so I can listen to music while I'm riding down the road. Um, and then I also added up here a curtain that I can pull for privacy at night when I'm sleeping and then I painted the front up here the same color as the outside of the bus just to keep the neutral tones going in here I think it made the space a lot more homey than the original metal that was in here and that's pretty much it for the front of my bus Right behind my driver's seat, I have a shower. I used uh, Dumawall interlocking tiles in here. The shower pan is 24 by 24 inches. It's very tiny, but it's perfect for what I need just for myself being able to rinse off every night. Total on board, I have 46 gallons of fresh water, and that's for my sink to wash dishes and cook, as well as for my shower. Taking quick showers and conserving water and washing dishes, I could probably go about two, two and a half weeks before I have to fill up. Okay, so on this side of my bus, I have half of my kitchen space as well as my living area. Um, so for my kitchen space, I have a 21 inch Furion range. Up top, I have three burners. And then down below, I have um, an oven. And then below that, I have a huge pull-out drawer that I store all my pots and pans. It's super nice um, and handy there. And then in this cabinet, I just store my solar panels for my Jackery. I have like extra reusable bags and things like that in there. My living area, I have a couch. This couch is actually multifunctional. I use it as a couch. I have a table I can pull out so I can eat dinner there. I do my work there as well as there's storage underneath and it pulls out to the cabinet space for a small pull out bed, but it's perfect for if I have a friend for a night or two. Then next to my couch, I just have a little bit more counter space as well as in that cabinet, I have all my work stuff, my laptops, all my teaching materials, and then below that, down here, I have a diesel heater, which is my primary source of heat in the bus. The reason why I got into bus life, it's kind of a long story, but long story short, I got out of a relationship. I was living in New Jersey. I didn't know where I wanted to go and I just wanted to explore. I'm a very free spirit in that way and adventurous and so I saw a bus on Instagram and TikTok from somebody else and I thought it was an awesome way to live and a week later I bought a bus. So to make money on the road, I have a full-time job. I am a virtual special education teacher so I'm able to do what I'm most passionate about all online and get to live this life. Uh, for the other side of my kitchen, I have a nine inch deep bar sink. It's perfect for me. It's small, but it doesn't take up too much counter space, but it's perfect for the size that I need on my own. And then I have my main source of countertop. That was really important to me to be able to have a lot of space to prepare things. So that's really nice to have. I have butcher block countertop here. Um, and then down below here, I just have lots of storage space. I store all my cups, plates, bowls, all those types of things on those pullout drawers as well as some extra food down there. Below my sink, I also have uh, six gallons that I use for fresh drinking water down there and Honcho's treats and extra cleaning supplies. For my backsplash and my walls, I just use peel and stick tile, um, which I think is really cool. It's nice and lightweight and it still gives that tile look. And then I also have a spice rack on my wall here. That way I'm not taking up any extra counter space and it 
looks nice. <laughs> um, and then back here I have a huge pantry drawer that stores all my dry goods as well as, you know, toilet paper, anything else that I need to basically store is in there. And then the cool thing about my bus that you don't see in a lot of builds is that I do have a mini fridge that has a fridge and a freezer. Um, so that's super nice and that was important to me to be able to have a large freezer space to be able to have ice cream, acai bowls, frozen meat, all those types of things in there. So for my bedroom area, I have a large closet, which is pretty unique. It's almost three feet uh, wide. I store all my clothes in here, lots of hanging space, lots of cube storage in here, as well as my toiletries. And then I also have the gas tank for my diesel heater that's stored in there as well. Underneath my bed, I have a space for Honcho. It's kind of his dog bed space as well as a, a spot for all of his toys so they're not in the way all around the bus. And then I also added two skylights in my bus. I had emergency hatches there and since I was going to take those out and I had holes in the roof, I decided to add some skylights. The first one opens up so I can get access to my roof deck. This one is doesn't open up or anything like that and then I also lined the skylights with some greenery just for the aesthetic I think it looks nice and it looks super cool when the sun's coming in with them so for my bed I have a full-size bed back here I also have in my headboard I made it so it could flip up so I could have extra storage space for my sweatpants and sweatshirts as well as my dirty clothes and then I also added a mini split this is my source of cooling it runs off of a generator that's on my back hitch it's also able to heat the space but I use my diesel heater as my main source of heat Also meeting fellow nomads has been super cool. I've met so many people from all across the country. The downfalls of bus life has been the mechanical issues. I've had about five different occasions where I've had major issues on the bus, so that has not been fun. <laughs> Honestly, I would say the thing that surprised me the most is how safe I felt. That was something I worried about initially, being of course a solo female traveler and exploring different parts of the country that I'm not familiar with, but having Honcho of course helps, but also getting recommendations from people from where to stay and just locals have been really nice with recommendations as well, um, so that's not been an issue for me. I don't think I've actually even come across a time where I felt unsafe and that's the most surprising thing for me so far. Doing my build, I really loved the look of the bus door, but I wanted to be able to have it function like a normal door, so I was able to bolt the door into one piece so it opens just like a regular door. I also added a keypad deadbolt lock, which is super cool, mostly for safety, but also that I'm able to go on a hike and not have to worry about my keys. I can always just use the keypad to get back into my bus. For my paint job, I rolled it on myself. It took about eight days to do the whole process. Um, and I also did a mural on the back, which I freehanded. I found a picture that I really liked and I freehanded it onto my bus, which was a project in itself. On my roof, I also added a roof deck, which is super nice. It's about eight feet long. It takes up half of my roof, lots of space to go up there, enjoy the sunset, eat dinner up there. And then I also have a max fan up top, as well as 525 watts of flexible Renogy solar panels is what I went with that just seemed like the easiest for me with the curved roof and then underneath my bed I also have 600 amps of lithium batteries as well as a 3000 watt inverter well, on the back side of my bus I installed a hitch with a carrier I have a Yamaha Zuma moped which has been a game changer being able to just have a smaller set of wheels to be able to get around if I'm ever in a city or things like that. Also stored on my hitch I have my generator that runs my mini split as well as two propane tanks. One that's for my hot water heater as well as my stove and then the other one runs my generator. I also have a backup camera on my back door that's super nice being able to see behind me and then inside my bus underneath my bed through that back door I just have lots of storage space as well as my whole electrical setup in my fresh water tank. And then above my door, I installed some metal brackets that holds the outdoor unit for my mini split.
One piece of advice would be, honestly, I know it's so simple, but to just go for it and just do it. And also not to compare your bus, your journey, your build to other people, because I think that for me, I was building alongside some other creators at the same time and just seeing their progress stressed me out because I wasn't going as fast, which is okay, just being on your own journey. So not to compare yourself to other builds, other people, and just if this is what you really wanna do, just go ahead and make that leap. Thanks for watching my tour. If you wanna follow along on my journey, you can find me at the.schooly, S-K-O-O-L-I-E, dot teacher on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope to see you on the road.